Hey guys, what's up? I'm Greg. He's Q. Together we're Mr. Happy 0121, and today we're doing the Cajun Surf and Turf from Popeyes, Louisiana Kitchen. You guys know our history with Popeyes. If you've been here more than a minute, at one point they were on our band list. We actually booted them off of our review circuit for like three months. I remember. But they've made a strong comeback since. We're going to get you guys a close up of this amazing meal. And then we're going to break into it. And as always, the close-up. This meal comes with a biscuit, mashed potatoes, which, you know, we're not going to show you a close-up of mashed potatoes. We've got the chicken. And I went with the butterfly shrimp instead of the popcorn shrimp on this. Two pieces of chicken, butterfly shrimp, a biscuit, mashed potatoes, and a medium-sized soft drink, $6.59. Okay, the Cajun Surf and Turf. We're going to start with the shrimp. Here we go, friends. The Cajun Surf and Turf comes, of course, in two flavors, mild or spicy. And, of course, we went spicy. Got a little kick, but it's not horrible. Yeah. All right, now we're moving on to the chicken. The chicken tendies. Gonna go like this for mine, and then I'm gonna dunk the second one in some mashed potatoes, because that's what you do. Just because I can. Okay, we're gonna get into the grade. Now, we're both gonna grade on the flavor, and then I've got something to say about the value of the meal, what you get for the price. What do you give the meal itself? We'll give this a 90. I was actually blown away by the shrimp. I liked it way more than I thought it was. I, I feel like the spicy for the chicken and the shrimp is the best way to go about it. It's not too spicy. It's like it's a flavorful kind of spicy. Exactly. Yeah. For the meal itself, for the flavor, the taste of everything you get, 93. It's good. It's, it's what Popeye's does well. Yeah. Now, for the value... Like an 80. I really felt that they could have put another piece of chicken in there for 650. Definitely. But just the taste, on taste alone, really good. Plus, you could switch out the potatoes for french fries if you wanted, or macaroni and cheese, or like five other things. So there's a little bit to play with there. Shoot, going with macaroni and cheese. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Popeye's macaroni and cheese, not an appealing thing. So Popeye's came out pretty well today. We'll throw up some links to our older Popeye's ones. And right at the end of the video, I'll, I'll throw up my link where I went on the long tirade about their service. They have since improved. I have no complaints about Popeyes at the moment. We got a comment the other day, we as we're wont to do. You know, when we review things low, there's a weird phenomenon that takes place. Yeah, please, please share. People don't like it when we review food too low. Like... I have a negative response. Like if, yeah, if we don't like something, there are this group of apologists that come out of the woodwork for whatever we downgrade. It's like, well, you caught them on an off day, or the one I had was, didn't look like that, or, you know, Zeus was throwing lightning bolts at the manager's head that day. There's always this group of apologists, and we could say almost anything. I mean, we could say that, like, if Hitler was alive today, we'd hang out with him and get fewer dislikes than we do for disliking any food. Whenever we just crap on food, even like when we set the hot dogs on fire, there's a group of people that were not pleased about us disliking food. Really? True. True. Then there is another group of people, probably the same group of people, yeah. because in the world of anything, you've got greatness, you have awfulness, and then pretty much everything else is average. We'll go on a streak for a few weeks where we review pretty much everything between a 75 and like an 85. It just happens because not everything's great and not everything's awful. So then invariably the comments come, you guys think everything is just average. Okay. Okay. Then there is one more group. There is the group that complains when we grade something very high. Had one the other day, long time viewer. Uh, you graded... Uh, what was it we did? I don't remember what it was, but I believe we gave a 95 and a 93. And then this voice came. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Do you mean to tell me in the entire world of food that 
This Taco Bell item, crunch wrap with the Cheetos, oh. was a 95. In the entire world of food, you're going to give this a 95. That was good, though. But then I had to break it down and explain it to this person in such a way. We are a fast food review channel. Review, we review like Big Macs and hot dogs from Burger King and chicken in a box from Popeyes. So is this a 95 compared to a porterhouse steak? Of course not. But the fact that I would have to explain that to you makes it a completely worthless conversation on my part. That, that you've watched this channel for X amount of time and you need me to now explain to you that we're not grading this in comparison with steak and lobster from a like a Michelin rated restaurant. No, that's we're rating this compared to fast food. <laughs> Hope that clears up the misconceptions out there. Hope so. I mean. Because like, yes, there are things in the world of fast food when compared to other fast food that rank very high. Don't know why that would bother you so much, but it does happen, just as things rank very low. I mean, if I eat something and I enjoy it, then I'm going to give it like a high grade. Right. Or a low grade. Or a low grade, if I don't enjoy it. But people, I guess that's, you know, it's by its very nature, reviewing something is like a very nebulous thing. People can like it or hate it. I've just never watched someone review a piece of food and then felt that I needed to go defend the food if they didn't like it. Neither have I, but... <laughs> Especially some of the shit that we've reviewed. Like, the the hot dog from Burger King looked like a hobo's diarrhea <laughs> on that chili dog. And then you've got people going, well, mine didn't look that way. Well, we didn't review yours. We yeah. can only review what we're given. And it's disingenuous. There's a word. There's a word. Of us to keep going back until we get better looking food. Or, like I've accused other reviewers of in the past, going into the restaurant and saying, we're going to use this for a review. Oh, and then they make it all nice and ornate. If we do that, then we're being dishonest with you because that's not the experience you're going to have. You're going to order it in a drive through like we do. And then get home and find out that half your order is screwed up. And you're also not going to film yourself going through the drive through and Right. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of the review process. We review what we get. We give the most honest answer we can. And we're reviewing on a fast food slash, like, potato chip scale. So never say that this 90 that we're giving this is in comparison to one of the great chefs of Europe or something. It's just, that's stupid. <laughs> it's just stupid. It's stupid. <sighs> Some dude got so offended that, you know, I, I kind of, I didn't call him stupid. I, I said I fear for the future. <laughs> uh, when people have to ask me questions like that, and he got supremely butt hurt, and then wrote me like this much of a letter about it. Wow. Wow. And I'm just not that passionate to write that much about anything. You know, speaking of stupid people, how many people do you think died last year taking selfies? Fifteen in the entire world. The entire just again, like fifteen. Yeah, that's a reasonable answer. I mean, how do you even put a number on that? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't I have know. a number. Twenty-seven people died in 2015 taking selfies. Is that like a fact? It's a yeah. fact. Wow. 70% of those people came from one country, and I would have never guessed. Uh, Norway. India. India. Really? Very random. Check this out. Nine people have died so far in 2016 taking selfies. Seven of them are from India. What's going on in India? I don't know what the hell is going on in India, but maybe they should have a class in school teaching people how to take selfies, because you guys are clearly not doing it right. They've died drowning, falling off cliffs, having equipment fall on them. You can read this long laundry list of ways people have died in India taking selfies. Or just don't take selfies. <sighs> I have this picture of people in India using like 1800s flash photography where they have to stand for oh. like hours. <laughs> and like, you know, the world caving in on them or something. I don't know what kind of technology they got going in India. I don't know either. If you're in India and you're taking selfies... Hit us up in the comments below and let us know how to do it safer. I'm just curious myself about selfies. Yeah. In my entire life, my entire life, I have probably taken 10 or less selfies. How many, how many would you put a number on if you had to guess for yourself? Four. For real? Four. Four. Hmm. It's not something I do for fun. I don't, I nope. hate it. I feel stupid doing it. That's why I've only done four, I guess. I'm just guessing here. 
You ever used a selfie stick? No, haven't used a selfie stick. Megan has one, and I've used it, and you want to talk about feeling really stupid. Because oh. then you got this thing, and you're way over there. Yeah, it's classic. People are staring at you. If you're out in public, you I, I never do it in no. public. If you're, if you're using a selfie stick in public, you have more balls than me. That's right. Girls can get away with that, though. Like, people don't judge a girl as harshly. A hundred-year-old man such as myself walking around with a selfie stick, like taking pictures in Walmart or something? Their heads. Disgusted. I would have to take a picture of the guy using the selfie stick taking a picture of himself. It would be like the inception of selfies. <laughs> yeah. I would take a selfie of me in the picture of the guy taking a selfie. That's too much. You're making my head hurt. I know. I thought we were just going to eat some food. And... and then if I had a selfie stick, I would selfie stick myself Ew. taking a picture. I know, right? <laughs> Other guy with a selfie stick. Making fun of him, not me, because people oh, wouldn't know I was yeah. using a selfie stick. Of course. You, that you is a selfie stick out. inception. Yeah, it's a lot. All right. Now it's time for Facebook shout-outs. Now over 320-something. Josh Adams. What's up, Josh Adams? We enjoy your beer. Oh, shit, that's Samuel Adams. That's Samuel Adams. I'm sure you have something to do with the beer, too, Josh. We would never undercut your value as a human being. We enjoy your beer as well. Mike Philip, F I L I P, 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 is in puberty. Oh, you sound like Johnny <clears throat> there for a second. Mike, <laughs> woo, 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 what, woo, woo, woo. Mike Philip, thank you for watching. I hope I said your name correctly. Last but not least, Brandon Harmon. Very, doesn't that sound like an all American wholesome name? Brandon Harmon. I picture Brandon Harmon having like a picket fence. Out front mowing the lawn, waves at the neighbors when they drive by, drinking lemonade. Oh, I went. I was thinking like a rugged countryman or something with a revolver and a bearskin rug. I didn't know you were going like a family man or something. But oh well. Brandon Harmon. Brandon Harmon. You know we haven't done a poll today, although the guy on the couch often takes polls. We haven't <laughs> done one today. Today's poll: Brandon Harmon. Does he sound like a guy that would have a picket fence mowing the lawn, drinking a nice lemonade through a straw? Or does he sound like a lumberjack out chopping wood with his faithful ox, babe? Let us know right here. Dumbest poll ever. Dumbest poll ever. Is this the dumbest poll ever? Take a poll. That's that's tomorrow's poll. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's it. We are done here. I don't know that we're going to do anything else on this channel until Friday. We've got lots of stuff over on the other channel, though. So check out some content on the Mr. Dark channel. That's Mr. Dark, 0121. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can find us on all social media, including Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Google+, and Snapchat. I would tell you how many people we have on Snapchat, but I don't know how to tell. So, A and, lot. And I'm not going to count them. So we'll just say now over five. I think that's accurate. I think so. Until tomorrow or the next day or the next day. Stay vigilant.